Hello friends, this video on congruence of triangles part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now look at ASA criteria. Now I really do not think that I need to explain a lot here. ASA means angle side angle. That means here we will deal with two angles and one side. And this is also the same sandwich phenomenon. But this time the two slices of breads are two angles and the stuffing is the side. Now looking at this triangle, let us call this triangle as ABC. So can you tell me uh, if I am talking about two sides, AB and BC, which would be the sandwiched angle between AB and BC? Yes, that would be angle B. So this angle B is sandwiched between AB and BC, right? Similarly, which is this angle? Now similarly, if I ask you which side is sandwiched between two angles. So AB is sandwiched between two angles that is angle A and angle B. Right? So every side is sandwiched between two angles. Let's say BC is sandwiched between angle B and angle C. Similarly, AC is sandwiched between angle C and angle A. So that is the concept of uh, a side included between two angles. Now. Let us say that you have two triangles like A, B, C and D, E, F such that let's say angle A is equal to angle D and angle B is equal to angle E. So angle A is equal to angle B, angle B is equal to angle E. So two angles of one triangle are equal to their corresponding angles and the side included between these two angles that is which is the side included between angle A and B it is nothing but AB and which is the side included between D between D and E it is nothing but DE so if AB is equal to DE that means this is ASA so angle side angle. So if this is true, then we can say that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF and this happens by ASA criteria. So if, in this way, we can say that the two triangles are congruent. So even if, if, if you are given that only two sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding two sides, in that case, we should know if the included angle between the two sides are also equal so that they satisfy SAS criteria. Similarly, if it is given that two angles of one triangle are equal to the corresponding angles of the other triangle, in that case, we must know if the included side between the two angles is also equal. Only then we can say it follows ASA criteria. So as per this criteria, if two angles and the side included between them of a triangle are equal to two corresponding angles and the side included between them of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So I hope this concept is clear. So please understand the concept of the included side. So if, if, I, mean, I think I should write it down. So if we take example of triangle ABC, then we can say that BC is the side which is included by angle B and angle C. So BC is the included side by angle B and angle C. Similarly, AB is the included side by angle A and angle B. In, a, in the similar way, AC is the included side by angle A and angle C. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.